Welcome to Career Wisdom Walk, where I combine exercise and practical career advice that you can implement today. In today's episode, I want to talk about how do I handle a gap in my resume in the interview. So there are different reasons why people have gaps in their resume. You have stay-at-home moms who are returning to the workforce. You have people who take a time off to care for a sick family member. Um, you have people who were terminated from their last position. You have people who spent some time in prison and also people who were, uh, who really just quit their job because they didn't want to work there anymore and they didn't have something else lined up. So when you're talking about a situation where you were let go or you quit the job without something lined up, basically what you want to explain to them is, you know, that was a really good learning opportunity and it taught me um, to really take time to figure out what my strengths are, what my skills are, and a company culture that is really going to be a good fit for me. And so I've taken time to reflect on those things and do my research, and that's what led me to this position today. And then you can give an example of something that you've seen about their culture on their website or that you heard from someone, or that's something that you saw in the job description, and then tell a little story making a connection about why that's a good fit for you. So you're really taking a situation of a bad fit you were in previously and turning it into a positive. Now if you've spent some time incarcerated, what you can say is, I realize that I have to earn the respect and trust of people, and because of that I have to work harder than everyone else. And talk about what you've learned from your experience. You want to turn it into a positive learning experience. Now if you had health problems yourself, or you were staying home to care for someone in your family, I wouldn't share personal details. I would just say that you had took a voluntary sabbatical from work and leave it at that. So if they called you in for an interview, they probably don't care about your gap in employment because they know you have one uh, as much as you do. So I really wouldn't worry about it, but just really focus on the positive and, and how you are such a good fit with this company and why and illustrate that you've done your research. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.